Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty with another attack on the Pandoran's uh, lair. We are hopefully on the final, final lap of this very, 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 very long game. And I can see slight signs of uh, endings here and there. So what are we going to do? Hex or Kurt, Boom Blast for... It's not a bad idea. The normal stats, however, could also be improved. Let's do that. Jim needs speed. Very much so. And more willpower. This here would be fantastic. More damage and more willpower. Uh, more damage and more speed. And this would also not be too bad. Yeah, I think we wanted electric reinforcements next. New class next. Armor break isn't a bad idea. Willpower isn't a bad idea either. Yeah, I'll just add willpower because so many things depend on it. Uh, onslaught would be great, uh, but even better would be rapid clearance. So Enders could be an absolute machine. Rapid clearance for Tyler would be good. Like it. And whilst we're at it, uh, how about I give you a pistol? Very good. Finally, adrenaline rush for Natalia. And yeah, the team is ready. Second team is slowly but surely getting OP as well. But yeah, we wanted to spend all of the other points in the prime team. Okay, here we go. Well, we can't charge in. But I can already see... That this is going to be... A mission where we need uh, a lot of snipers. So it's either here, here, or here. Likely here, I would say. And the snipers will do a fantastic job in getting uh, getting damage against the spawnery. Good. Got electric reinforcements. Jim could hit. Oh yeah, very good. Adrenaline rush for Jim. Let's destroy the most annoying enemies first, which by far is uh, that acid artillery. I would argue it's one of the hardest enemies in the entire game. Almost. Well... We got that. And that. Okay, well, hmm. We could move once and then I'm repositioning. There. 
Oh yeah, well... <laughs> Adrenaline rush it is. Best ability ever. This guy has moved up. Yeah. Got lucky. Not yeah. lucky. Very nice. We're doing some more adrenaline rush just because it is too good to not do it. Unfortunately, our accuracy isn't that great. Just checking something. <laughs> nice. Very good. I like it. Five by five. what we can do good um boom blast more accuracy more range and more grenades because if this Here team needed one thing and one thing only it was more grenades Lovely. Enemies are slowly but surely losing their will to live. up oh yeah that could be an easy kill easy peasy <laughs> he even says it easy peasy lemon squeezy oh watch Ender Sanders moves up. And uh, we have killed almost all of them with the exception of one Triton. Haven't found the spawner yet, but we sure made a really good first impression. Next time, you're mine. Enemies just run away at this point. No point in trying to fight us. All right, so, hmm. Who is fast? I think Little Green arguably is one of the fastest in, uh, in our team. Yeah. 
haven't spotted out this spawnery yet. <laughs> wow, we can point and click and this guy uh, is getting damaged. Wow. Good. Moving up. I think we're soon going to uh, go upstairs. Nope. Can't reach anyone here. Yeah, this, the only thing that this team is lacking is the ability to uh, traverse long distances aim. fast. It's more slow and steady. Well, that could have gone better. Slow and steady team that is sitting back. Ready to fire. I can't get through, unfortunately. Send out some scouts. Not great, but okay. On the move. Move up. Overwatching. Oh, wow. How far can we shoot? Well, not far enough, apparently. Jim begins to move a bit further. The pure damage output is fine. I don't see anything yeah. wrong with that. It's just the speed. It's not like the other uh, team number one where we can simply start blasting away. Okay, we can see artillery. Good, adrenaline rush. And what we're going to do is the classic. One. Two. That was a good one. Three. <laughs> and four. Yeah, he he's done. Yeah. 
we're continuing to move closer with little green mainly because I think that this is the location I'm here Wow no I don't think we can hit him from here. Sniper moves up. Yeah, we need high ground. Else this is not going to they work out, so me. Natalia moves up as well. Next turn we need to rehaste everybody. So already moving Ein into that direction. I'm here. Identifying target. Let's try that again. No, maybe. Well, let's get some willpower back. That's a kill. I was hoping we could uh, land the other shot, but we cannot. Andrew Sanders moves up. Nothing. We shoot once, we overwatch the other time, and done. More goo. Uh. Goo in combination with marksmen can be quite dangerous, so you cannot move. It's a good combination. <laughs> Minimum damage. Uh, let's adrenaline rush. Moves up. Insta kill. Yeah, Jim is slowed down. This is not going to work well. So let's <laughs> frenzy everyone back up. Yeah, bear can barely hit this uh, guy. Time to move up. Those three that are now moving up would <clears throat> try to get to the other exit. In the meantime, Natalia takes high ground over here. Five by five. Tyler also takes high ground. That way we can shoot over a lot of the obstacles. What's our move?
Holding position. Overwatch there. Ine is immune to the ghoul, which is great. Get some overwatches and let's get a pistol overwatch. Overwatching. Pretty good. End of turn. He's not moving at all. That little sucker. Two, three, four. Interestingly enough, we did not find anything here. I was wrong, which means the spawnery is back there. Even worse. Moving over, trying to get to that other side. More drones, reload, done. All set. Can't shoot through that stone, which totally is, uh, is understandable, but it still sucks. <laughs> All right, Overwatch. All set. More Overwatch. I'm ready. I'll keep my eyes open. End of turn. We've killed everything, but we haven't found the spawnery. Spider drones uh, are a bit stupid from time to time. Twenty three burning. I'd say that's good. Even more burning. finally goes down now oh thank god we found the spawnery i'm here my turn 
Very good. So, adrenaline rush. One. Two. still active. Three. And four. Taking aim. One style wounded. And two. Finally. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not hitting. This is really far away. Nope, doesn't work That's out. Our move. Let's go. <laughs> Enemy still active. Two hundred sixteen. That's good. I'm here. Good, more drones and Overwatch. Holding position. But this guy is highly, highly uh, wounded. Very soon he's going to bleed out and die. Um, yeah, we're just moving towards the exit here. Good. Even if they're respawning, there isn't much Preparing that they can fire. do. Spider drone. I'm here. Here. Um, all set. Yeah. <sighs> 
proactive uh, reinforcements. I do have the feeling that we're going to be hit soon-ish. Unfortunately can't shoot through here and unfortunately can't really overwatch either. Ready, sort of. Good, lots of overwatches. A little bit of cover here. Maybe he's dead. Yep, he is actually dead. Very good. Moving up. So Jim has the same problem that he always has, which is being too slow. Need a better shot next time. Okay, interesting. Regaining will points. Uh, mind control, yes. Yeah, next turn, the mind control will break. But that's long enough to just move them super far away. We don't need to kill them. Move up. Next, from next turn onwards, we can hit the spawnery. It's crazy to see just how good the spiders are by themselves. Okay, well, ready to engage. Ready, steady, go. We're continuing to deal damage, and we're continuing I'll to keep overwatch. My eyes open. Jim does what Jim does, uh, needs to do, which is running from A to B. Not enough. Good, we're dealing a lot of damage even from range, but it will be better next turn when we're uh, when the others can join. Yeah, you hostile wounded but but active.
big fat body. Uh, we're going to deal with that in a second. Uh, we're recovering because that is what will allow us to do four shots next round instead of only uh, one now and one next round. Cool. The pots are s uh, slowly but surely going away. We need to recover, so I'm ready. Before we do that, though. Moving out. Moving up. Exo disables the arm. Ready for action. Be right there. Natalia. Zooming in. Completely kills him. Okay, cool. Power back. Overwatching. Need a better shot next time. More damage and Overwatch. Done. Okay, finally. Adrenaline rush. One. Two. Three. All the egg pods. Big fat shot into the body. 450. Holy. We're recovering. That way we can help next turn. I'm here. Kitsu moves up. Retrieve Retreat. turret. Let's go. Everybody's frenzied. They can't stop me. I'm here. Have a plan? Good, next I'll turn I there. hope everybody can move out of here. <laughs> With the spawnery being down, there isn't much else happening here. And a few tritons really don't uh, do a lot. Can't fully charge out. Miscalculate by one step. This 
Little green evacuates. Jim evacuates. And the whole team over here Keep can effectively just you. rush out. Ender's Enders is the last one to move out, and that was a successful mission. Granted, I had the wrong side of the map, which uh, prolonged it, but overall it was good. Good. So, everybody is a little bit happier after we finally defeated uh, them. Very good. What are we going to do with you guys? I think you need a bit of a rest. In the meantime, let's continue to trade. Oh, wait. We wanted to defend. <clears throat> Never mind. Production is still running hot. Oh boy, we do have a lot of material. Two times crystal crossbow. One time rebuke. And uh, let's do a couple of Maddox of the Ancient. That, that, and uh, that. And another shard gun. Okay. Seems about right to me. We are creating super weapons and with them hopefully this team here can also be equipped. Pandora Nest has been discovered. What? Alright, that's uh, the next job of team number one. Very good. We're still researching. Boy, it takes a while. Good. Soon we're going to defend the New Jericho Haven. <clears throat> Should be a quick mission yet again with our prime team. Let's take a good look. Oh yeah, we got some more points to invest. Uh, do we want more willpower? Hmm. I don't think so. What we want is more strength. And he's now finally at maximum strength. Unbelievable. More willpower here. More strength. Willpower. Cool. We have maxed the butcher out. Uh, just need a few more willpower points. <clears throat> and then the character with 35 strengths is almost maxed out. So in terms of ancient weapons let's see we got three snipers that's good three grenade launchers that's good as well three shotguns uh five metox of the ancient uh 
And I think we don't have a, a Scyther. No, we don't. But this team has already gotten all of uh, the equipment, so there is no point in going through with that the fifth time. Very, very good. <clears throat> we are back in action. Stronger and meaner than ever. Frenzied. Electrically reinforced. And oh yeah, we're doing a bit of a jumpy jumpy here. Dilly moves up. Hands over actions. And I wonder where all of the enemies are. I am hoping by running in we're going to find find them. Hello boys, how's it going? It's good, yeah? Well, how about that? And a little bit of uh, that. What's it good anymore? Double move over here with the butcher. Euler moves up, hands over actions. Butcher checks upstairs. Doesn't find anyone. Butcher checks downstairs. More successful this time. Good, enemy spotted, and we're ready. We have no one over here. It's hard for me to believe that this is it. We're missing something or someone. Ready. Can't wait. Let's show them what we can do. All right. Let's rock. Moving up. Let's hold. Moving to coordinates. I don't know. Where is the rest? Like the wind. Hard to believe that this is it. Nothing. Oh, okay. Um, you know, it's literally just a war cry. These aren't a contradiction.
tries to shoot with poison. Connection established. Let's resolve this. How did we miss him? I mean, not even mad, I'm just disappointed about missing these enemies. How? Dash over. Good, moves up. Strengths helps uh, giving over the respective uh, action points. My biggest problem is I hate it when when we're just not seeing the enemies. I get it. Sanhedrin is supposed to be stealthy. But what is going on? Polly. Polly heals us. Realm jumps up. Kills that guy before jumping down. Yeah. I mean, I get it. They are supposed to be stealthy, but when we're running really, really close next to them, I don't know, in open terrain, that somehow doesn't make sense. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to get mind sense again. Or, no, oh no, I can't change the heads. A perception head would have been an option. Doesn't matter, we can't change the heads anyways. Decent equipment. Good, I think, I think we wanted to get the hive over here. So let's slowly but surely make our way there. We can trade a bit in the meantime. Generally speaking, we should go to the hive. Okay, so we're flying over here, then getting the hive, which is the only structure left over at the moment. By the way, we have crazy in, uh, income. Ever since I found out that you can just uh, uh, circle around uh, the the um, the different resources mm 
One, two, and we got our grenade thrower again. The best part about it is all of this is free of ammunition. Destiny, by the way, seems like a really good option as well. And soon we will have so many weapons that even the lower level teams will be richly equipped with them. Out of curiosity, are these guys done? I mean, yes, they are, right? This was the team where I was trying to build uh, to build the asset team, but never really worked out uh, that well. <clears throat> uh, what we could do... That's the processing side. This is a mutane field. What is mutane again? No, we don't need that. Uh, or a calco mine would be an option. We could also free the Phoenix Omega here. Where is another protein living crystal? This is one uh, plus oricalcum is another one. What do we have here? Okay, so resource side, resource side. Essentially, this team could help us here. How much is deploying a guardian cost? Ah, still a bit, but if we have way too much resources at some point, we can just deploy them. Point why I wanted to do that, or the idea behind it is, the Phoenix team here is partially still level six. So we could level them up. Um, how many living quarters, one training facility? That's not a lot. Did we have better training facilities? One training facility. Lots of training facilities. Uh, it will take a while until they are really set up for success. But it could be worth it. Out of curiosity, we got a mutane field up here. I mean, we could send them over and essentially switch with team number two. Or we're just sending them to Phoenix Point and let them slowly accumulate experience. That's not a problem as well. Mendico 1 flies uh, there and Mendico 3 flies there as well. Out of curiosity, Base number 11 or South Africa. No, I've never built a second training, uh, training space. Antarctica has a bit good enough. 
And Phoenix Point also has a bit. That's also good enough. It's really okay. They will eventually get there. So let's trade that and that. Great, thank you. Good, we're still waiting for the research. Holy crap, this is taking ages. Nemesis is the goddess who punishes those who commit sin, controlled via a satellite connected AI system. We help New Jericho build. The Nemesis missile will um, ultimately annihilate uh, the Yugafian uh, receptors before it gets a chance to become a host in the mind of a Yugafian. A centralized AI can locate a giant structure protecting the receptacles, but the squad will have to enter it, locate the alien entity. Uh, place a beacon, allowing the AI to pinpoint the target. Thank you for working with us on this. Today marks the end. We're going in with the courage of our convictions. According to our research, destroying... We need to ensure that this attack is precisely delivered. That means a locator beacon. Okay. Right down there. Well... Pandoran Palace, uh, apparently that is the final mission. I wonder why is it only, uh, why is it only uh, Tobias West who came up with the plan? There were two other things that happened as well. Sinidrin's uh, moon launch site and the Exalted Temple. I don't even see how long that takes. But are there even other ends to this? Which would be interesting, right? I mean, uh, that would in, in return mean there are multiple ends to the game. But maybe I'm misunderstanding it. Like I said, the game is not really very clear in what it is saying. It's saying so much, uh, which is the base problem. It's saying so much at the same time. That it is hard to listen to what uh, it exactly is trying to convey as a message. Good. Um, careful, I want to keep some more of the material here. We have a lot of tech to work through. Good, we're going next stop, uh, that Pandora nest, and then the next stop afterwards is overseas. I don't know if this is actually the last mission, no idea, but it sure looks like it. Which is interesting because after what feels like years of playing this game, there is a final target inside
Good, we're going to kill that Pandora nest relatively soon. And yeah, apparently the, the Tobias West uh, came up with like that Uber plan of a super network. It's a bit sad to see that there were still a few things that I could have tested out, but the game just doesn't incentivize it. The vehicles at large seem like a huge disappointment. So have we had more, uh, more incentive to use them, or maybe if we would do a run that is solely focusing on these vehicles that would potentially have given uh, uh, some more uh, opportunity also the biological like large lizards that we have uh, built up uh, wanted to double check these as well doesn't matter now Two times so that, and I know exactly what we're going to do with that, and uh, one more scorpion, two more scorpions, there you go. Problem of too many resources solved. Good, time to start the mission and time to get that one going as well. Fantastic. Good. Well, should be a cookie. Shattered Realm begins to move up. We see dozens and, of, and dozens of eggs. Good, the expect there will not really do much. So, moving up further. And it is super convenient, I mean, they place the eggs essentially right into our direction where we are running anyways. Very convenient. Where's the breeding center? One thing is sure or certain, we have made a huge omelet by getting uh, get uh, going through here. Oh yeah, lots of eggs. Oh yeah.
One, two. One, two, um, that. that yeah just making sure we have him uh, paralyzed so that 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 finish it? You're kidding me, right? No. He's just coming back. I see how it is. Bit of a war cry here. I think down here. All right, Euler, hands over. There you go. Dilly G, hands over. There you go. And we do a little bit of a, sl a slalom here. Move through one side. All right, I get it. There are a lot of enemies. Quantity of enemies never has been a problem. the mission all right we still got uh, two I would have thought the last one uh, we wouldn't have uh, we wouldn't have uh, paralyzed that one the two are the best that we can do without spending extra time in paralyzing them for me the whole paralyzation with the main team is whenever uh, they are the enemies are closely clustered up then it is convenient to just, yeah, uh, grab one or two and leave it at that. That's like, what, 200 uh, mutagen. Uh, and on some of the Hive missions, if we can loot 200, 300 mutagen, that's okay. I could prolong every single mission by essentially capturing a dozen enemies for a thousand mutagen. But to what, uh, to what point, like what would be the plan? of doing this. Yes, we could create food out of them. Okay. We got the plan. This option is only to be considered as a last resort. Uh, 
Uh, you're kidding me? We just lost 50 diplomacy. Oh, wow. Great job. No further research uh, available. I researched everything, but still it's unclear how anyone other than New Jericho could finish the game. Look, I don't want to go there and... Has it now overwritten uh, the other option? I don't understand this game. This is completely unacceptable. Why can't I work together with... with uh, New Jericho. This game really starts to annoy me uh, by its pacing. It's very convoluted towards uh, the end game. I've researched everything and instead of now having options, essentially just by researching it, everybody starts to hate me. I don't even want to do that. We have no more allies. Well, great. I don't know. The Exalted Temple is still under construction somewhere here, whatever that means. a bit lost. I don't fully understand what's happening. I thought that there are multiple endings, at least the game suggested that. Why am I now forced into into the last resort? Complete. That doesn't make any sense. But maybe, maybe I'm missing something. to put the virophage in there. Hmm. Is it because we're no longer friendly with these guys? I'd... I'm almost tempted to look it up. But I want to continue with a blind playthrough. This feels like the loser's ending and not like the winner's ending. How do we get reputation? Well, I mean, I could get... Uh, we could work with them to... T 
target um, energy generation sabotage disciples of Endu. who by the way currently are sort of supportive so if we sabotage them can we go back to Tobias West's plan and is there even a disciple of a new haven nearby yes there is energy generation okay gosh nice game Two hours, I tell you what. Um, medical one and medical three move there. Tech here. Haven in four. We repaired their energy just to rate it. Uh, that <laughs> minus 60. No, that is not happening. Of that just because I was trying to help by researching everything. Can't believe that this is happening. Prime team, what is the prime team doing? Do we have any other? We have one Pandoran structure. I will look it up, the different endings. I mean, this is just complete utter garbage. Okay, I try to keep it as spoiler-free as possible, but I am highly so, decouraged. Some time ago, I came across a classified Phoenix Project report. But then I realized, meteorites. Exactly! Help us defend the launch site so we can get my robot to the moon. Good, so what I understood is you research uh, the last technology, then you defend uh, that technology against others, and then you can do the ending. But if you uh, research your own uh, last uh, resort option, then all of the other endings are locked, which means for this playthrough, ladies and gentlemen, instead of doing any of the faction endings, apparently we are only allowed to do the destroy everything ending. We'll just mentally override that uh, by assuming we are starting the uh, New Jericho satellite instead, because I really think that this limitation is absolutely stupid but yeah whatever that's going to happen in the next mission the game is uh, coming to an end let's see how much of a challenge the last mission actually is and uh, hopefully we can pull it off thanks for watching and see you in the last episode bye bye